few people have inquired about my system, particularly how I've got my Atmos speakers placed, but I figured I'd start back here and give you a, uh, a quick shot of my equipment room, which I realize the wiring is a mess in. It's on my to-do list, but I will get to it someday, I promise. But anyway, that's my Marantz AV8802 up on top. Underneath that is the Yamaha receiver that I used to temporarily used to drive to the Atmos speakers. Underneath that's just an old uh, Sony CD burner. A couple more amps, a four-channel carver for four of the Atmos speakers. A um, B&K two-channel amp for um, two of my side speakers. I have four of those total. A uh, couple power conditioners, and that's a Rotel um, amp on the bottom. That's a 1095. It's 200 by um, 5 channel, which is uh, for my Santner speaker, two of my side speakers, and my rear speakers. So uh, this is what I kind of call my messy command central back here. So next I'll go out into the uh, theater room. So here's the theater room itself. My front speakers are Aerial Acoustic 7Ts. Each one is flanked by a uh, Martin Logan Depth Eye. One there, one there. That Macintosh amp drives those aerial acoustics. Got an aerial center channel. Um, they just came out with a model that matches my main left and right. So I'm sure I'll uh, trade up to those one of these days, but it just came out. Um, an Oppo BDP 105. I do have a Darby, but it's not inside that. It's actually in that back room that I just showed you. It is a Sony HAP Z1S. A uh, dedicated music player. It'll play um, DSD or any kind of file you throw at it. It'll play and it also uh, up converts uh, standard files to DSD. So that's the front wall. Over here I've got a couple absorbers that are kind of blending room with the well. Well with the room is what I'm trying to say. And just the uh, couple wall sconces. My turntable, my headphone setup. It's my front row of seats right there. My primary side speakers, which are also aerial acoustic. My secondary sides, which are definitive technology for now, but I just got another matching set of aerials on the way. They should be here in a couple days. Um, my back row of seats on my riser that I built. And I also have um, some lounge chairs back here for in case I ever get more than seven people. I've got a couple extra chairs in the back. So there's my back speakers. Those are definitive technology. I may change those out someday too, but I kind of like the fact that they're bipolar so they reflect sound off the back walls, which kind of gives you a nice fill from the back of the room. Just some various stuff. My third uh, Martin Loger, this is the bigger one, the uh, Descent Eyes. So I have three of them in here. They're all sealed, they're all servo controlled. So I get plenty of um, low frequency output in here, but with them being sealed and servo controlled, for me personally, I just like that effect in the room. It's easier to control. Um, so getting to the um, speaker placement for the Atmos. I put two up here originally, which this is all the way in the back of the room, just behind those um, bar stools that you saw. And then originally I put two more up here, which is uh, probably about five and a half feet in front of the front row. Um, those are actually directional speakers. They are actually angled inside their baffles, so they don't point straight down. They point more towards the seats. And I'm, I'm sure you can tell uh, these, the ceiling is not 10 feet tall. Um, I know that's probably ideal for Atmos, but how many rooms are ideal for Atmos? Let's face it, right? Not too many. Either their ceilings are low like this or they're cathedral ceilings. So I like the Atmos, but um, thought that when you're in the front of the back row, you can't hear the opposite speakers that well. When you're in the front row, you can't hear the back ones that well. When you're in the back row, you can't hear the front ones that well. So after the fact, which is a little tricky, but I managed to pull it off, I, I put these two in. 
these two are kind of dead center between the two rows. And what I did with these, instead of pointing them to the front or the back, I pointed them in toward each other. And it worked out well. Um, I'm pleased with the result because I feel like the Atmos is more um, present in the room now. That way you can hear it a little bit better. So uh, for those of you who are curious about what I did with Atmos in this room, that's what I came up with. So I'll try and give you a little perspective from the screen wall. Like I said, there's two, the middle ones, and obviously you can't see the back ones from here. So that's probably all most people wanted to see. So I won't go on and on. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.